Hi. Okay. Happy Monday. So <laughs> I wanted to do this this morning um, to help you all wake up on this beautiful Monday fall morning of November and life got life happened. Um, so if you haven't seen my introduction post, I'm a mom of three. Um, we had swim lessons this morning. I just did not get to this. But what I would like to do is help you all fall in love with mornings. And so since that's our theme is falling in love with um, anything, time to fall in love, all of that, um, I am going as a coffee lover, there is actually a breathing technique called coffee breathing. And the whole reason it's called that is because it's designed to upregulate or stimulate your nervous system to help energize you and wake you up. So all of us, you know, if you're another coffee love, if you're also a coffee lover, go ahead and drop that emoji, like I said, in the description down in the comments. But even if you're not a coffee drinker, you can be a coffee lover um, if you find that this breathing technique helps you. So breathing meditation has been a huge thing for me. I have a history of chronic asthma. I have been um, a recovering asthmatic, if that's a thing, um, for almost it'll be two years in january of 2022 since my last hospitalization and that was really the the hospitalization that kicked my husband and i into high gear as far as would uh, what do we need to change to make a difference in our lives because this cannot keep happening so without further ado here's what we're gonna do so you can do this sitting in a chair as i am okay but you want to be you want to make sure you're in good posture so shoulder blades down into your back pockets roll them back nice upright posture you can also sit on the floor and if you like like the cross-legged yoga pose if you want to be like this um whatever you want to get into a comfortable position okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to take quick inhales like you're sniffing okay or, or sorry quick exhales like you're sniffing like you're sneezing or you know something like sneezing is probably the the best explanation so okay and you're going to do about a half inhale and you're going to repeat that 20 times and i'm going to i'm going to show you then you're going to rest you're going to let your breathing come back to normal you rest for about 30 to 60 seconds and then you're going to repeat that and so you're going to do three rounds of 20 of these quick breaths and that is your coffee breathing technique okay and it's designed to wake you up okay so here's what it, here's what it looks like Now, I recommend when you get to that point where you're in that rest phase, keep your mouth shut, breathe in and out through your nose. So often we're told breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, but really the more often that you can keep your mouth closed at rest and force yourself to breathe through your nose, the cleaner the air is that you're breathing and the better the air is that you're breathing. No, you're okay. Um, so you're going to repeat what I just did two more times. Okay. And one of the other things you want to make sure that you are doing is many times when you inhale, people suck in when they inhale, when you inhale, your belly should actually expand. So you can keep your hands on your belly in order to, to um, know if you're doing it right. So those. Okay. So as you inhale, your belly should expand. And as you exhale, your belly should come in. Remember, and it's that quick, that quick exhale, slower inhale. And you're doing that six, you're doing that 20 times, three rounds of that. So I'd love to know if this helps wake you up tomorrow morning. If you try this at any time during the week, um, go ahead and drop a comment either tonight or either tomorrow or later this week and let me know if you tried it.